Hello, Steve. What's Steve Arts 89? Um, I stumbled across a movie today, just randomly on TV. Um, Michael Jackson, Finding Neverland. Searching for Neverland. Damn it. Um, Michael Jackson, Searching for Neverland. Finding for Neverland was a documentary. Um, I was shocked. The, the guy who plays him is actually a Michael Jackson impersonator. I think his name is Navi. Um, he looks amazing. I, I, there were full-on scenes. I forgot that there was an actor. I, I just was feeling like I was watching Michael. Um, it was really amazing. I'd heard about this film back in the day. It was made in 2017, and it wasn't going to be shown anywhere. And, and you know, in Australia, we don't get everything that is released in America. Um, and I just figured I'd watch it on DVD, and then I forgot about it. Um, and I just stumbled across it today. I missed about um, probably 15 minutes of it, the first 15 minutes. It's uh, mostly from the perspective of his um, two bodyguards that he had um, in pretty much the last two years of his life. Um, it, it's, mo it's basically them being interviewed and telling the story of, I guess, how they got hired and working with Michael. Um, I'm guessing I missed the hired part and just working with him and how it ran in that. And It seems like a fairly, I felt like it was a fairly honest trail on some levels from what I've heard because there's a lot of controversy about Michael like was he on drugs was he not on drugs some people who knew him wasn't weren't aware of it so it couldn't have been that bad but other people are saying you know there's all these stories and then the autopsy and everything it's just it's just a bit of a it's, it's he's one of those now enigmas in death kind of like Marilyn Monroe and other people where we didn't get answers about a bunch of things and so but um they portrayed him as a person they portrayed him as a father and um, it was a very moving portrayal. I, I cried a few times. Um, he really was struggling to just be a father and ha ha let his kids have some sort of normal life in this situation where he's this person who can't literally go outside without being mobbed. Um, and just the issue with money as well. Like he was worth so much money, but he actually didn't have any cash because the only way to get cash, because he'd spent all his... Um, liquid is uh, his money basically um and credit and everything and the only way to do it was to do the this is it tour the only way to get enough money to buy a new house because he felt that neverland had been defiled by the um the the raids and everything and he was never going to go back there even though his kids kept saying let's go home because they grew up there that was their home i mean it's so sad that apparently that's what they're always wanting and he found another beautiful place that he was going to call Wonderland because it was just amazing. I'm assuming they filmed in the real location because um, that place was amazing. Um, but the only way to get that house um, and to pay off his debts and everything and um, get back um, in a healthy financial situation was to do the This Is It tour, which um, um, he couldn't, he, touring was too much, so they were going to do um, a, um, a residency in London. I'm wondering if it would have toured and gone any further over time. Maybe each year they might have done a different country or something like that. But um, the original was just, I think, 50 dates or something. Or Originally he wanted to do only 10 dates, but it was like a series of dates that he was going to do in um, London. And he was doing the rehearsals for that, and that's when he died, when he was doing the rehearsals for that. That's why we got some footage of it, and they were able to do the documentary. But um, he didn't finish it. He didn't, it wasn't fully done, and he never performed for anyone. And these guys apparently, um, when these, when the new contracts were signed, new people came in, new management, um, and they were sort of pushed out. And they were like family. They felt they were, they were the months they worked without being paid, and um, because they cared about Michael, and he he felt he could trust them. And there's no reason to doubt these guys um, that I can see. I haven't heard anything bad about them. Um, they were with him for two years and apparently didn't leak anything or anything, so um, they were asked to sign NDAs and um, they didn't want to and they were being pushed um, by some of the other guys who weren't listening to Michael apparently, they weren't doing what he was asking, they were trying to control him, um, which on some level he might have needed because he was out of control, he would just spend money he didn't have because um, he didn't want to really believe that he was broke even because he was worth so much, but he didn't actually have money. Um, you know, like literally... he. They went to buy Christmas presents. There's a scene where he goes to buy Christmas presents and the card doesn't work now. It's not worked, it doesn't work because it's not activated. But whether he doesn't have the authority over his own accounts to activate his own card, or whether he didn't understand how to activate a card because he'd never been a normal person and used a credit card, or whether he didn't actually have money in the account. Either way, you know, it was, it was that sort of situation. Um, 
and like I said, the performance was amazing. You really, there were so many times I just forgot that it wasn't Michael. And the guy was a decent actor and he looked like Michael and no one else without plastic surgery or prosthetics could really look like Michael. Um, and I'm just glad I caught it because it was just random. I just was flicking through the channels and like, oh my God, it's, it's a Michael Jackson bio movie. <laughs> and yeah, I just want to talk about it because I thought it was great. Um, so yeah, Michael Jackson, Searching for Neverland. That was the name, wasn't it? Yeah, Searching for Neverland. Um, yeah, um, that was great. <laughs> I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let, let me know what you think. I know it's an old movie, but um, I just saw it. Thanks. Bye.